Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to your readings for December 2019. We made it. We're at the end of the year, guys. We got through this doozy of a year that was 2019. It's been really a strong one will say, but hey, we made it. So congratulations. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? It is great to see you. So before we move forward, I just wanna say this really quick. I have this small intro here that I put in front of all of the monthly Zodiac readings. Um, and if you are new to, the, new to the channel, I highly recommend that you watch this intro once just so that you can get a general in some general understanding of how the readings work, how you can contact me if you would like a personal reading, blah, 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 all that good stuff. If you are watching multiple videos, I have put a timestamp in the comments section below that you can use to skip this intro, but I still recommend that you watch the intro at least once, yes? Moving forward from there, right after the intro, you're gonna find that we start into, we do actually get into the reading, but we start with the pre-shuffle energy. The pre-shuffle energy is the moment that I take right before I start recording the actual reading where I'm channeling the energy of the zodiac sign in question, and I start to shuffle the cards, and when things come out, I start to get the, the general energy of what we're gonna potentially be talking about during the reading. Now, it doesn't always have to be that that message continues, into the actual full-on spread for the reading, but it seems to be that way. It's quite often seems that the pre-shuffle cards come out, come back out in the actual reading, which is really cool. But just to clear up some confusion, that pre-shuffle energy is in fact part of the reading. But because this is a general reading, if that doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Um, just get through that and then see what comes out in the rest of the reading, yeah? So I want to wish a very, very happy birthday to the Sagittarians out there because we are in your season. Happy birthday, my Sagittarius! Yeah, it is your birthday season. Very happy birthday to you guys. I love you all so, so very much. I hope you have a great, week, uh, a great month and a great birthday season. I also want to extend a very happy birthday to the December Capricorns out there. We're going to be moving into your season next, at least in terms of Vedic or not Vedic, I'm sorry, Western astrology astrology. With that said, my channel here can resonate either way, Western or Vedic astrology. You take that into account. You let that work for you. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, don't worry about it, okay? It, just let it go over your head, <laughs> okay? Um, so with that said, we are moving into January, which is going to be the two-year anniversary of Divine Conversations. Divine Conversations was actually the birthday of Divine Conversations is January 8th. That was the first day that I posted readings here on the channel back in 2018. So Divine Conversations is going to be two years old, you guys, in January. I am super, super excited about that. Um, if you would like to get in on some sort of celebration about Divine Conversations or for Divine Conversations, if you want to send a gift, some, some, something to commemorate, blah, blah, blah. If you have you know a special um, deck of cards that you would like to send to donate to the channel to be used on the channel, whether that be Tarot or Oracle cards, I do have a P.O. box. The, P, the, the address for the P.O. box can be found in the description box below. Um, along with a bunch of other information, like information for personal readings, yes? So keep in mind that these readings are general, okay? So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a more specific view into your situation, then please don't hesitate to email me. My email address along with a list of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and their prices can be found in the description box below. Yeah. Um, so you also can find me on social media. I am on Facebook 
at facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. You can also find me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. The links to those sites can also be found in the description box below. I do invite you to interact with me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. However, if you would like to send me a message, if you would like to contact me, if you have a question, if you want to, if you want to um, order a reading from me, I highly recommend that you do not message me through through Facebook just because I don't always get those messages as quickly as I would like to or as quickly as necessary. Um, I do not want to miss your inquiries, especially if you're looking for a personal reading, okay? So your best bet, if you want to get a personal reading with me, your number one best bet is just to email me directly, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. That can be found in the description box below. Or to just send me a message on Instagram. Instagram is much easier for me to communicate with you guys uh, direct message-wise. Facebook is just not that reliable, and I don't want to miss your inquiries. Inquiries, okay? So for the cross watchers out there, I do want to explain that these are general readings and mostly I am going to be speaking to the, um, well, not mostly I am. Yeah. Well, actually, yes, mostly I am speaking to the Zodiac sign in question, but because these are general readings, it can be vice versa. It can switch. So if I am explaining a a situation for say Aries and you're a cross watcher for an Aries and I'm speaking directly to the Arian however the story that I'm telling is f is flipped and I'm actually it actually resonates more than I'm speaking to you than the Aries then take it okay take it as it resonates but if it doesn't work that way don't try and make it fit you're only going to at that point end up confusing yourself more or just getting all um, confuzzled and you're just worse off than when you started yeah cool um Finally, what I want to mention is I'm using a brand new Oracle deck this month. And actually, this Oracle deck, it's called the Earth Warriors Oracle by Alana Fairchild. This deck was sent by one of our viewers, Sam. Hi, Sam. Thank you so very much for sending this deck. I used it for the readings this month. And let me tell you guys this deck is awesome it's so interesting how i can you know choose different oracle decks and the messages still resonate very strongly with the rest of the reading you know i was actually and i shouldn't be surprised by that but i was a little I, it was pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome Ooh. okay well with all of that said i think we're ready so let's get into the reading yeah <laughs> Awesome. Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for December 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into your pre-shuffle energies. You have the strength card with the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Okay, those came out together. However, the Seven of Pentacles also came out here, but that fell out of the deck by itself. And it's interesting because the, the Seven of Pentacles fell out of the deck and it fell reversed. And then at that same time, the three, these three cards flipped over too, but they stayed together, okay? Overall energy you have is Seven of Cups. What I feel like here is, Scorpio, you're needing to have the strength to put something to rest, to close some sort of karmic cycle, to bring something to completion, to not keep planting these same seeds over and over and over again with that seven of pentacles in reverse. You have three sevens here, I just realized. Seven of cups, seven of wands, seven of pentacles. Luck is on your side here, but also spiritual wisdom or just wisdom in general. It's almost as if the universe is asking you to be wise enough to, to, like, to, to, to tame yourself in some way, to bring some sort of cycle to a close with the 10 of pentacles um, and keep your boundaries up here with the seven of pentacles in reverse i almost kind of feel like you should have learned your lesson learned this lesson by now like you basically but what i mean the vibe i'm getting from the universe is like them saying to you we've given you lesson after lesson or situation after situation after situation of just the same thing over and over again regardless of whether it's with the same person or not it could be different people, but the same circumstances. And you keep 
it's like you keep engaging in it. What I'm hearing is you keep engaging with it, but then you keep telling us that you don't want this anymore. So which is it? I just heard put this to rest already. Okay. The Seven of Cups is confusion. What are you confused about, though, Scorpio? If, if you've been dealing with a situation that doesn't make you happy, doesn't bring you fulfillment, then why keep chipping away at it? Why keep trying? Isn't that, wouldn't that be like Einstein's definition of insanity? Doing something over and over the same way, expecting a different result? But really, Scorpio, what I feel like here is you just need to come to terms with letting go of it because you've known for some time that whatever this circumstance or situation is for you, it's needed to, to stop somehow. Interesting. All right, Scorpio. It, this could also have to do with family. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Some sort of family situation, some sort of long-standing relationship. Some, and also the Ten of Pentacles is an energy of being in something for the long haul. You know, really putting in a lot, a lot of time and a lot of effort into this. It could be a situation in which maybe you were trying to see if there was some way that it could possibly work out. Ultimately, though, at this point, the universe is saying you just need to put this to rest and start and try something new. Start over and try something new. Okay, because this is just not working for you. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to give this one shuffle just to help reset the energies. And then we're going to get into the rest of your reading here. All righty. Here we go, Scorpio. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios at this time, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, five shuffles, and we'll see what we've got for ya. One. Two. For my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. Three. Four and five, Scorpio. You know what's really interesting? As I'm working on connecting with your energy and just staying connected with your energy, I hold a, um, uh, an image of a scorpion in my head, right? I do that for each one of the signs and their respective symbols. For you, Scorpio, it's very interesting because and this actually happened with cancer in which that like i was holding a vision of a crab in my my mind my mind's eye for cancer and it was turning red that can the crab was turning red for you scorpio the scorpion that i'm seeing in my in my mind's eye is brown which to me is giving sense of becoming grounded in some way okay which i just heard is very important on your journey Okay, Scorpio. Boop. Overall energy for you. Oh, man. Look at what just came back. That Seven of Cups. You're still confused about this? I mean, I don't mean to sound judgmental, but what is there to be confused about? I just heard narcissism, toxic energy. Okay. What is it you're still trying to figure out, though, Scorpio? Underneath the Seven of Cups, you have the moon. And you know what's interesting? This might be a very specific, this might be a message that's very, uh, very for a very specific uh, group of people or amount of people that I'm channeling for here right now, but someone is being deceptive. And I don't think it's you, Scorpio. I think someone is leading you on. Someone might be... Someone might have you spinning your wheels needlessly, gaslighting you, 
giving you false hope making false promises, promises that they were never intending to, t to keep anyway, which might actually be keeping you in this energy of confusion, Seven of Cups. I'm almost feeling it's like once you start to figure it out, this person catches wind of it and changes things up to make it seem, to, to make you lose your place again. Now, don't get me wrong, Scorpio, this could be you doing this to someone else. However, I... That's not the strongest thing that I'm getting here. Underneath the moon, you have the Knight of Wands. Well, well, well. There's that gaslighter. Underneath the Knight of Wands, the Three of Wands. Interesting. This Three of Wands energy is... Um, is um rem giving me a feeling of what that ten of pentacles was giving me which is like uh, uh, being in something for the long haul the long term and what i'm getting with the three of wands here is like you feel like you should be receiving some sort of return on an investment here you should be receiving some sort of payout wait i did x y z a b c d e f g that you asked me or told me I needed to do, and yet I'm still not getting what I'm owed. I'm still not getting what I'm due. What's going on here? What's going on here? So if your intuition is peaking right now and coming through Scorpio and saying, hello, red flag central, you need to start listening to that. Okay. All right, Scorpio, let's get into the rest of your reading here. First set. Um, First half, second half of your reading, you could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Someone might be a Scorpio moon here. I don't know why that just came to mind. But if you are a Scorpio moon and this is resonating with you, then use that mental, that, 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 that Scorpio energy within your mental makeup to your advantage, yeah? Trust your intuition, okay? If something doesn't feel right, then you're probably correct. Especially since you, it feels like you have a lot of physical time as a history here to say something is not adding up, okay? First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, you have judgment. But it's almost as if the universe is trying to wake you up to this as well. Judgment is coupled with the Page of Swords. Communication. Oh, oh, but no, 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 no. What this is saying, what I, I, I just got it now, what this is saying, Scorpio, is the universe is in fact asking you to wake up and start looking at what's really happening around you because somebody is deceiving you. Hmm. And you know what? To be quite honest, Scorpio, I kind of feel like you already don't like the fact that, that, that this is coming out that you're being hoodwinked in some way. I already feel, I can already feel you do not appreciate that at all. Especially if this is somebody that you like really trusted, you do not be, you do not appreciate being hoodwinked like this, being bamboozled like this. Oh, fuck no. Oh, hell no. They about to get the stinger. Well, good, Scorpio, wake up. <laughs> okay, 11-11 on the counter. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading, you've got the Nine of Cups. But this is not you. It can be you. Satisfaction would be yours if you were just to wake up to what's really going on around you, but I feel like this is the other person that's just smug as a bug in a rug just like seething with arrogance and like in the background just being like yeah i got this person wrapped around my little finger they can they, when i say jump they say how high i got this on lock a word 
Obviously, you've never double crossed a Scorpio, but hey, karma's a bitch, ain't it, Scorpio? Mm hmm. And you know about dealing some karma, don't you? Mm hmm. I know that's right, honey. Nine of Cups is coupled with. Well, shit, Scorpio justice. So actually, this kind of could be you too. Once you really start waking up and like really looking at things and following your intuition, following the intuitive hits that you're receiving, justice would be served. And then you, and oh my, the tables, how the tables will have turned because then you can be the smug one and be like, yeah, bitch, now what? <laughs> God, I love Scorpios. <laughs> I love y'all. You're fucking awesome. Okay. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Scorpio, the Four of Cups, you've been denying this. You haven't wanted to believe it. You're just like sitting here like, nope, nope, I don't want to believe you, universe. I, nope, nope, this person is telling me X, Y, and Z, so I'm going to believe X, Y, and Z. I'm not going to think maybe this is actually A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, right? Denial. Interestingly enough, because the Two of Swords is usually the card that represents denial. So this has some sort of emotional context for you. Maybe you've been, in, maybe you've been really investing emotionally in a relationship. Maybe you've been investing emotionally in a creative endeavor, a creative partnership, a creative relationship. Or maybe you just don't want to believe that someone, this person could be deceiving you because there's someone that's really, there was someone that you really held in high regard, you felt really close to, maybe it's a family member, I don't know. Because after that four of cups comes the five of cups. So I kind of feel like if you were to accept this four of cups that the universe is trying to hand you, which would be a cup of unconditional love for you and maybe even the person or a situation that you're dealing with. But the, it's like the universe respects and loves you enough to say, hey, honey, look, this is actually what's really happening. And here you are, Scorpio, with your three cups of toxic energy. Like, nope, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to believe you, spirit. This could even be physical people, spirit acting through physical people that are trying to bring this forward to you. And you're just like, nope, nope. I don't want to deal with it because if you accept this cup and you really start looking at things, then the despair is going to come through. And then you're going to be like, well, shit, because then those three cups that you've been focused so much on are going to spill out. Yeah. Four of cups is coupled with the eight of wands. Clear and concise communication, seeing clearly. Seeing something, I'm just getting, I'm getting an energy of clear space, clear and open space. And so it's like your challenge is to accept what spirit, what the intuitive hits that spirit or other people maybe even are trying to give you and open up and see clearly and maybe even open up lines of communication. But again, I mean, once this is very much an energy of once you wake up, you can't go back to sleep. Once you real, once you learn of something, you can't unlearn it. Once you hear something, you can't unhear it. Once you see something, you can't unsee it. And that's what you're afraid of, or that, and you're aware, or or and or you're aware of that. Okay, closing message or potential outcome for you, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading. There's that seven of pentacles. The one that was reversed in the beginning of the reading in your pre-shuffle. Learning through the contrast. You know, Scorpio, I do kind of feel like if you are in, involved in some sort of business venture or some sort of, sort of creative venture, I feel like part of the reason why you might be resisting waking up to this and really seeking what's going on here, trying to find out what's really going on beneath the surface here, I feel like you might be in resistance to that because you feel like you might lose a hefty chunk of maybe the money that you've invested. I just heard that specifically. Uh, a financial payout or some, you might lose something physical. I don't think you're going to lose as much as you think. That's what I'm just feeling from the seven of pentacles, seven of pentacles here. Like there's still something of value to take from this or to gain from this situation. But be careful, Scorpio, because the longer you stay in this, the worse it could get ultimately. Okay. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with 
<laughs> the devil. And you know what I just heard? The devil is in the details. And it's the details that you, it's exa that's exactly it. It's the details that you don't want to dig into. <sighs> Look, I was about to say, but Scorpio, you have to. But you know what? I stopped myself. Why? Because you don't have to do a damn thing. Mm. All right, Scorpio, let's get into the second half of your situation. You're reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you. You've got my, my, my. There's that 10 of pentacles again. And I'm getting specifically that this really could be family. I did feel that specifically when this came out, but it also could be financial in nature, career in na career trajectory, something that you've been working on really, really long, tirelessly, just continuing, continuing to work on it, which is excellent, which is great. But given the circumstances, do you really want to continue working on this, Scorpio? Or at least working in this way? Ten of Pentacles is coupled with the Chariot. Wow. You know, the heartbreaking, the, I, I, I guess we can say the most heartbreaking element to this situation that you're in right now, Scorpio, is the fact that you have been in alignment with yourself this whole time. You have wanted to do this. This is something that you really want, I can feel. This is something that you're really gung-ho about, really passionate about. But you don't want to believe that someone actually could be using you, deceiving you in some way. Also, the chariot is speaking to a need to get yourself in balance, get yourself in check in order to really successfully complete something. This. I don't know what that means. Complete it, like finish the, the, the project or bring it to an end. I don't know. It could be either. But ultimately, you've got to get yourself in balance here. You've got you've to you've approach this from a perspective of, Balancing the light and the dark. I mean, this is really strange. You are no stranger to the balance of light and dark, Scorpio. You're definitely no stranger to the darkness. So I guess I can say that I don't really understand why you would be so resistant to healing this situation, but I think it really is because you have a lot of emotional investment in it. And it's just going to make it harder for you. But it still needs to be cleared away, though, Scorpio. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading. You have, oh boy, five of pentacles. Yeah. You know, some of you may, someone may have really taken a pretty strong financial risk here. And you might risk losing everything. And I don't really know what to tell you about that. Other than I am so sorry. But there is a feeling of potentially losing everything. Five of Pentacles is coupled with the King of Wands. Someone sold you a pipe dream, Scorpio. With intentions of probably uh, never really following through, or maybe with intentions of never really paying out that which they promised you. But also, they may not even be capable of providing to you what it is you bought into. Because what I'm getting from this King of Wands energy is someone that talks a big game and, and is very charismatic and knows how to knows how to work the field knows how to work the room knows how to work the crowd could sell water to a fish and probably doesn't even have that water in stock to provide to the fish once payment is made you know what i mean like selling shit that they don't have now scorpio this could be you but I doubt it. I don't think it's you. 
I think this is someone or something you've been dealing with. And of course, keep in mind that this could be symbolic in nature. Like this doesn't necessarily have to be financial or career or work or something, but we have pentacles here, which could talk about that. Take it as it resonates, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Scorpio, you have, well, the Wheel of Fortune. There's time. There's the element of time that I was kind of picking up on. But to be quite honest, Scorpio, regardless of who this person or what this situation is, regardless of how you may have been deceived and how you may be continually been de being deceived, there is an element of you, this being a part of your life path or life purpose, or like at least part of your, your, your journey right now in closing out this karmic cycle. This wheel of fortune is feeling like a karmic cycle for you that has just been spinning forever. And the challenge here is for you to break free from it. I feel like, for because I, I just got a specific hit, for some of you, this is something that just keeps coming up over and over and over, but with different people, different specifics, and yet it's the same or similar energy. You know what I mean? Wheel of Fortune is coupled with the Empress. Well, that's interesting. Abundance, unconditional love. Oh. Enabling. Mm. Enabling. You may have been enabling yourself, continuously enabling yourself. You may have been continuously enabling someone else. Someone may have been continuously enabling you. That's where some of this could, deception could be coming from. Ooh. And they may have been enabling you to keep you in their back pocket, Scorpio. Good God, how did you not see this? You didn't want to. Okay, I get it. There might be some Leo energy in there for you. What I'm, the image that I'm getting right now is someone petting a lion and just keeping it happy and content and then using it to do its bidding. And as long as that lion is happy and content, he will never question anything, will he? Even if he's being guided or he's being used to do wrong on people, to hurt people. That's interesting. So there could be Leo in your chart or you could be dealing with a Leo or that's just figurative. Wow. Wow, Scorpio. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading. Here you have, yes, the Seven of Wands. Boundaries. No means no, is what I just heard. You have got to stick to your guns, Scorpio. And it may, and, and honestly, I just got another hit. It may not even be that this is this certain person or it's this certain project or whatnot, whatever. It may just be the treatment that you're getting, living in the lap of luxury somehow in some way. It may, it just, the attention you might be getting is just, you can't get enough of it. You don't want it to ever end. But Scorpio, it's toxic. You've got to learn this lesson. Okay, Seven of Wands is coupled with the Tower. No means no, Scorpio. You have got to strike this down. You have got to put an end to this. And to be quite honest, at this point, no one can do it other than you. The universe isn't even going to do it for you. They're just going to keep giving you all of this energy that you keep feeding into. If you don't want this anymore, then you have got to put a stop to it and stick to your guns. So I'll say this. 
you're probably going to be tested or you're probably going to be asked by the universe if this is really what you want to put an end to. So let's say you put a stop to it now and then all of a sudden, a few months down the road or X amount of time down the road, you run into a similar situation. You will be faced with a choice. You can either engage with it again or you can reinforce your boundary and say, no, enough is enough. No means no. Thank you, but no. Woo, chow. All right, Scorpio, let's get into your Oracle guidance for this month. For my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December tw ooh, 2019. I'm going to try that one more time. <laughs> All righty. Let's see what we've got here, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. You know what I do? Ooh. Which one? The, the top one. Okay. You know, um, what I just noticed here, Scorpio, you had three sevens come out in your pre-shuffle. And it was the seven of cups, the seven of wands, and the seven of pentacles. And here you have them. Seven of cups is in your overall energy, and both the seven of pentacles and the seven of wands is in your closing messages or potential outcome. 777, seven, seven. wisdom. Wisdom, Scorpio. Oh. So you got card number 23, Abuela Medicine, remedy of the grandmothers. Two and three equal a five. Fives equal change and challenge. Believe in the formidable power of healing, of the transformation that it can provide for all aspects of your being and your life. Medicine comes in many forms from great spirit to facilitate healing of body, of mind, and of soul. Whether it is the correction of, help, of unhelpful habits of thought, guidance for the practical steps to resolve a physical imbalance, or deep soul healing that frees you into fulfillment of your divine potential, there is no limit to what can be healed through grace. A current of divine healing is flowing to you and through you now. Open yourself up to participate in a beautiful healing transformation. In a reading, this says, you are on a healing journey. Put your trust in the divine genius of great spirit and the medicine of the earth through which divine healing can express itself. As you allow your spiritual connection to guide your earthly steps with synchronicity and divine intervention, you will be supported for a healing journey that will be profound for you. This oracle indicates a healing outcome that will enhance your soul journey. Your soul has healing gifts, and you are meant to participate fully in an exploration of healing that is of, that is of interest to you. You are meant to understand how it is that you are a healer in your own unique way, whether that be professionally or, how, or in how you are as a person in the world more generally, as a part of your life journey. Wow. So there you have it, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in, a, is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading next year. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.